How's it going guys? Welcome to Nautilus. I'm Andrew and today we're going to talk about how to properly rig your spear gun. Uh, usually what happens, you shoot your fish and you got to put your shaft back in. Uh, sometimes you shoot at a fish, you miss. Uh, so let's go over a run through on that. Uh, this is an Andre Ironwood. It's an open muzzle design. There's various different kinds of muzzles so I'm going to show you guys how to do it today on an open, uh, open muzzle style gun. So we'll go ahead and shoot. Go ahead and shot. Usually what's going to happen, this is not every gun, but most guns are going to float when the shaft's not in the stock. So this gun will basically float up. And this, uh, this shaft is attached uh, to a shooting line bungee that's anchored onto the actual stock here. There's other setups like reels, breakaways. Uh, for this case scenario, we're just going to show you guys how to do it this way. So what I like to do, I'm riding. So I'll grab the stock like this and I'll keep two fingers. And you can see those two fingers down here. Uh, basically what I'm going to do with those two fingers is once I bring the shaft up to, uh, up to the surface, I'm going to actually pinch it just like that. So with one hand I have the stock and the shaft. Uh, this shaft has shark fin tabs so you want to make sure the loop is going to be over on top. Usually you always want to make sure the uh, shooting line is on top of the shaft. Basically I'm just going to keep it nice and tight. So now with my other hand I can move the shaft around, the line stays nice and tight. Uh, and that keeps it nice and uh, nice and easy to work with. Afterwards, all I got to do is pass the shaft underneath the bands. You don't want to put it over. You just want to put it underneath the bands. Line it up on the track, and I'll use my hand to press the shaft uh, down. That way I can still twist and move the gun around. It's not going to pop off. You can do this on pipe guns as well. Work it back to the mechanism. You got to make sure that it engages on there. So. You want to make sure it's engaged. Sometimes it doesn't lock in all the way and people rig it up, pop the bands on, and then the shaft pops out out of nowhere. So always make sure it locks into the mech. What you're going to then do, since it is an open muzzle design, you have here uh, the line guide. You're going to pass it under, over, and usually these guns are always going to have some kind of groove on the other side. Not all of them do, but most of them will. And that'll keep your shaft nice and tight on the, uh, on the track. You're going to work that line back. Here's the line release. This gun has two wraps, so usually if it was one wrap, right here I'd be done. But this one has two wraps, so I'm going to go over that anchor. I'm going to bring it back around, and here's a tricky part sometimes. A lot of times, people get it twisted. So what you want to make sure is when you go to rig it back on that line release, that the bungee, in this case, is going to be towards the outside. And that'll keep it nice and, nice and straight, so when you shoot it doesn't get tangled up. And that basically is how you... Uh, properly uh, rig your shooting line on an open muzzle style gun. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll post some more videos coming up soon. Catch you later.